And while it's Frederick's turn, Jared thinks, this is the end for you, Stevenson. But then Frederick slips on something. Shrups! Ah, I'm slipping! Crash! Frederick! And then Jared says, really sorry, Frederick. I'm gonna have to add that to your time and to your permanent wreck. Stop! yells Larry. He shouts, someone left his banana peel there before Frederick's turn. He could have gotten even more injured. Jared. So true. Even if Frederick is a loser, sabotage is uncool. Who did it? As Vector is sneaking away. And just where do you think you're going, Vector Perkins? Uh-oh. Just because you're an aspiring supervillain, it doesn't mean you can sabotage your competition. Out! Poop. I was so close. As Robin comes into the common room. Well, Robin, how did it go? Null. Jarretto Vector through the peel. Jack! Robin! It was Clay. I heard what you two were talking about. Trying to ruin for your own friend. Shame! Frederick is our friend. And if this is what he wants, we should be happy for him if he gets the job. Sorry, Clay. Désolé, Clay. But then comes Frederick in. Hi, guys. I just made it to the finals. I'm facing Larry and Walter. Congratulations, Frederick. And finally, it's the final test. Okay, finalists, time for your final test. A film projector. First candidate to fix his is our new AV kid. Good luck. Frederick, Larry and Walter try as hard as they can. Walter even gets off his wheelchair to reach. Chatter, chatter, kris, kris. You're not doing bad, Frederick. Larry, on the other hand, has room for improvement. <laughs> but, poof, Larry's projector broke. And then we were too. Sorry, Larry, you lost. Now it's between Walter and Frederick. Must fix that projector before he does. They both fixed it. Yes, I did it. Which is why it's always important to use a toothbrush and minty. Great job, boys. You both did it. You both passed all tests, and this final one was a very close race. The winner is... And then when Frederick comes in, well, Frederick, did you get the job? Yes, I did. But I gave it to Walter instead, because I just couldn't stand seeing him so sad. But why? You really wanted a job. Yeah, but he wanted it even more. And I still want to be with you during playtime. Boy, you gave up your dream just for us? Jared is probably shocked. He was. But he also thought I was very noble of me. To think about you. You still want to run the homework club with me? Of course, you're my best friend. I don't want to lose touch with you. And at night, as they're preparing for bed, Clay wonders. I do wonder what happened to Norman, though. I hope he's okay. 
Frederick. Trust me, you don't want to know. And that's the end. We go to Oxford school and we are only little boys. We go to Oxford school and we are only 12 years old. And if you wonder what happened to Norman, wonder no more. This is what happened to him. I'm sorry, Jared! I won't be playing with matches anymore! Can I please come out now? Sorry, Norman, but not until she thinks you're old enough to leave the nest. Kangaroo adopted him, much to his disapproval. Take care.